Hey, so today I just want to go over、um, how to use gauze after a tooth extraction.、Um, you know, it's, it's really important to use gauze properly because this is the primary method for stopping the bleeding from your extraction socket or extraction hole. So, this will apply to you know, any type of tooth extraction, whether it be like a molar, your wisdom tooth, a front tooth, back tooth, you know, any tooth in the mouth.、Um, you use it the same exact way.、Uh, so, So how you use this is,、uh, you know, your, dent your, your dentist should have given you like a whole bunch of gauze, and here's some gauze just to show you. So if if you have a if you have a single tooth extracted, I would recommend using at least two pieces of gauze. All right, so you take two pieces of gauze. All right, they they usually come in a small、uh, square. So what you want to do is you want to fold it in half once, fold it in half twice, and then place this. Over the extraction socket, and then what you want to do is you want to bite down onto it. So like the the pressure will help stop the bleeding. It's not so much the gauze that stops the bleeding, but it's more so you just need something to bite onto. And gauze is something that's easy to use. It's disposable, and you know you can just switch out to another one. So what you want to do is place over the socket, bite down with firm pressure for like twenty to thirty minutes, and then you can switch out to a new one. Every twenty to thirty minutes until it stops bleeding. Yes, that is how long you should be using this. You keep biting down on this and switching out to a new one every thirty minutes until it stops bleeding.、Um, I mean, you can typically, on average, it takes about like two to three hours for it to slow down to like a really slow ooze. At that point, you can you can stop doing it. So you know, but expect to be biting down for like two to three ish hours.、Um, And then just one last thing I just want to go over is that you know you you will use like about two pieces if you have like a single tooth extracted. But you know、uh, a lot of times if you're getting、uh, your wisdom teeth taken out, they'll, they'll usually do them in pairs. Well, they'll take out you know the top one and the bottom one at the same time. So、uh, in that case, you would need to use more gauze.、Um, two pieces of gauze is enough to fit through the space for a single single tooth. But if you're missing both teeth, you should actually use like. At least like three pieces, you know. You need you need this thing to be a, a lot thicker. But you know, but you you fold it in the same way,、um, once in half, twice in half with the three pieces of gauze, and then you stick it back there, right? So so you should kind of have like enough gauze in there where where you're biting down. You can feel your teeth kind of come apart up just like a tiny little bit. That tells you that you know you you're putting a lot of pressure on there. If if you if you put the gauze in and you just like. Jump right down, and then you're not really feeling much pressure there. Then you're probably not using、um, enough gauze. It's probably too thin for the tooth space there. So, so that could also be an issue if you have like big honking teeth, or your teeth are really, really long, and the space in between is really big. You you may need to use、um, more pieces of gauze. But yeah, but that's how you use gauze. So just to to recap,、uh, take at least two pieces, fold it in half once, fold it in half twice, place it over the socket, bite down. Hold for thirty minutes.、Uh, switch out to a new one every thirty minutes until it stops、uh, bleeding, and that's about it.